Hi, everyone. Welcome. We're going to give everyone a few seconds to roll in. I can see those attendee numbers clicking up. We are about to get started. Welcome, welcome everyone to our Know Before You Go webinar. As I see those names popping in, um, we at Connect here are all coming to you from Atlanta and Natalie from Kalahari, you're coming from Wisconsin. So drop in the chat box where you're coming from. We'd love to know who's out there and who we're gonna see. Look at that, we got Sarasota, we got Seattle, South Carolina, Arizona, Detroit. Oh my gosh, we got all of America. Vegas, Vegas baby, Chicago, Orlando, New Orleans. I love it. All right, I see those numbers popping up. So we're gonna get started, just a couple of seconds. Everyone, I'm Stephanie Davis-Smith, the VP of Content and Marketing here at Connect. Thank you to everyone uh, out there for attending our Know Before You Go. Um, we're so thrilled you're joining us in Orlando in 13 days. We all can't believe it's finally here. We are ready to relaunch meetings in America. Um, so yeah, keep putting in where you're coming from as you flow in. There's tons of people coming from Tucson, Nashville, everywhere. Um, I'd also like to introduce my fellow colleagues and panelists and let them tell you what they do. So this is Tinsley Flynn. Hi, I'm Tinsley. I'm the Senior Meetings Coordinator at Connect. Thanks, Tinsley. We've got Derek Rodriguez. Hello, Derek Rodriguez, Vice President of Sales at Connect. And Derek, how long have you been with Connect? I have been with Connect for 11 years, oh, man. So, since the first Connect. That's right, so here we go, I love it. And then we have Lauren Andronico. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Andronico and I am a Meetings Coordinator over at Connect as well as BizBash. Thanks Lauren. And then we have the lovely Natalie Ennis, who's here with us as our amazing sponsor from Kalahari Resorts and a future host of Connect. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about what the resorts are up to? Great, thank you. Yes, well, I am back in Wisconsin after a long time of living downtown Chicago. So uh, all of you Atlanta people, I'm sorry about that football game last night. I am Thanks. a diehard Packer fan. So anyway, we are uh, so excited to be back in person, um, especially me being in Wisconsin. I'm really excited to see some people. Um, but we are located in four states. And our headquarters and our home office, our first Kalahari is in Wisconsin, Dallas, Wisconsin, and then Sandusky, Ohio, Pocono Mountains, Pennsylvania, and in just 40 days from now, we are opening in Round Rock, Texas. We're just 20 minutes north of Austin, so we are beyond excited. My tickets are booked. We're all full two weeks there and just can't wait to be on the ground. Um, everything is going great at Kalahari. We are um, doing meetings mostly in Wisconsin um, because prior to being a hotspot recently, um, we have been opened up and we have been able to host meetings. So that's been really exciting using that as kind of a um, guinea pig to all the safety measures that we're taking at the other resorts and Poconos as well is doing great. Um, just, Texas, that's our big focus. So any questions, please let me know um, in the chat box or you can feel free to just track me down um, in Orlando. And we're just gonna do a short video, right? Yes, and you can actually direct message her as a panelist or attendee in a moment if you have any questions for Natalie. And I'm gonna share her video now.
Awesome. Does anyone else have FOMO? I need to like go on a, get a spa treatment, get to myself to a pool, all of these things. It looked awesome. Um, so any questions for Natalie, um, go into the chat box and chat with her and I'm going to send her into attendee role. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Natalie. All right. That was great. So um, that doesn't make you want to get traveling in. I don't know what does. So a few housekeeping notes before we get started. Throughout the session, please put any questions in the Q&A box. It's really hard in the chat box for us to find you and your questions. Uh, we will be going through the agenda of the show. But the first thing we think we want to address in what everyone's mind is probably on is that safety is our number one priority for this event. Yes, the Florida governor has relaxed COVID-19 regulations on bars and restaurants, but we will be sticking to our safe and clean plan, which is strict because we know that the entire industry is watching us. Right, guys? Right from Connect? Yeah. So Tinsley knows she's going to go through our Connect safe and clean plan right now with us. Thanks, Tinsley. Yeah. So um, just to go off of that and everything that we're doing, um, masks still will be required at all times, no matter what. Um, even at the receptions, if you're taking a sip of your drink, you can pull your mask down real fast and then we just ask that you put it back up um, just so that like we stay safe the whole time and that everybody's on the same page. All of our staff will be wearing masks at the same time as well. Um, we will have some rainbow LGBTQ masks on site and some Black Lives Matter masks. And so for everyone that's picked up We'll be donating $10 to an organization that um, benefits from those. So we recommend that you come grab one from us. And then we'll also have some Connect masks, some K95s that will be mailed out in the registration packets. And then we'll have some at the um, check-in desk and then a few other just different masks that we've um, gotten here and there. So you'll have plenty of masks. Um, please feel to come grab one, feel free to come grab one if you'd like. But um, we also recommend that you bring a fun one for the masquerade opening reception. Um, we will be requiring temperature checks. Um, so at five o'clock PM or six o'clock PM, I'm sorry, for the opening reception, you'll have to go check where you get a sticker to put on your name badge. So please bring your name badge. Um, and then the next day or the next two days, you'll have to go through one again um, in the morning. And once you go through it and you're all good, you'll get a different color sticker that you'll put on your badge and then you won't have to worry about going through the check again that day. If somebody does have symptoms or does have a high temperature, we have a group called in-house physicians on site and they will be doing rapid result COVID testing that we'll ask people to take just so that we can all feel safe on site knowing that if anybody had a temperature, they were checked and um, are all good. In addition to that, we are mailing out the badges ahead of time. So I'm sure you've probably heard from somebody on our staff asking for your address and all of that information. So you should get that in the mail next week before Friday. Um, if there is something wrong with your badge or you don't receive it, um, something were to go wrong, we have the information desk open starting at 9.30 a.m. on the 19th and you can come down and we can reprint you a badge, no problem. Um, then off of that, we'll have sanitize, sanitizer stations throughout the facility. Um, we are turning the tables in the marketplace appointment room long ways. So you'll be sitting either six or eight feet apart from each other at all times. Um, we have spread out the education rooms with the seating inside. So there's 54 seats per theater and they're all separated. We are using Quiet Events headphones again this year, but with the headphones, um, we have these headphone covers that we'll provide for you. So you're able to grab the headphone cover, put it on the headphones, and then we'll also be wiping them down so that um, you feel safe wearing them. Um, you can still exchange business cards and items. It's totally on you on what you want to do with that, but we aren't stopping anyone from exchanging any information that way. And um, we'll have wider aisles in the trade show and in the marketplace appointment rooms. Um, we will have waters also put in your guest room ahead of time so that we don't have to reuse water bubblers. Um, so please make sure that you bring those down with you to your appointments, to the trade show, and then we'll also have them available throughout the event. Um, meals will be boxed. So lunches are sponsored by Visit Sacramento and um, Explore Utah Valley. And so it'll just be a boxed meal we have two hours so that you don't have to rush and get in a long line. You can really take your time to get there. 
um, and then quickly eat your food and mingle and then go ahead to the trade show floor to interact some more. Um, we are not providing transportation just out of respect for guests who are not comfortable with transportation. Um, so we won't have transportation to and from the airport and the hotel. Um, and then the last thing is this week we'll be sending out COVID-19 waivers. So you should receive one from your sales rep. And we just need everybody to sign the waiver. It's over DocuSign, um, just so that we can all feel comfortable on site. So once you receive it, please send it back signed and then um, we'll be good to go. If we don't get it signed, then we'll reach out to you again this week. But if not, then we'll have to remove our registration. So please make sure that you get that signed. Um, other than that, I think it covers everything. Um, but if anybody has any questions about safety, they can reach out to us. And one quick question, you had mentioned why are your aisles, which we had heard from other people having events that you could get log jams. So that's why we made the aisles wider, but also our education, there'll be still be socially distanced chairs, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So usually one. aisles would be eight feet and now we have them at 16 feet. So we've doubled them so that people don't get crowded. And appointments, we have turned the tables, right? So people are sitting. Correct. Can you explain that? Okay. Yeah, so usually people would be sitting at a table that's horizontal, so about like 30 inches from each other. And to help people feel a little bit better about not being on top of each other, we've just turned the table. So you'll be sitting at the opposite ends. So some rooms have eight foot tables and some rooms have six foot tables, but either way, you'll be six feet apart. Great. And we did have a question. I don't know if you know the answer to this. Will we be paying for those rapid COVID tests? Um, yes. Okay. So, um, and one thing I did want to know is that originally we had put out messaging that um, COVID testing was required three days before. That's no longer the case. Just make sure that you don't have any symptoms. If you don't feel good, please don't come. But um, if you do have a temperature on site, Connect will cover the cost of your rapid result COVID test. Okay, that's great. Um, thank you for all of that. Um, and the waivers, you'll be getting that from your Connect uh, representative. And hopefully this answered a lot of your safety questions at the beginning, but please put stuff in the Q&A and we'll get anything we missed at the end. Um, I think before we get into the run of show, let's talk about these really cool mobile keys that the um, Orlando is doing. I'm going to pull this up, Tinsley, if you want to talk a little bit about this. Yeah, so um, the mobile keys are something that the Marriott brand has done throughout the hotels. Um, so what you'll need to do is download the Marriott Bonvoy app and I recommend doing this like this week even and you'll what you'll do is you'll log in if you don't have a Bonvoy account then go ahead and create one and you'll link your reservation to the app and um, so you have to do this at least 48 hours before you arrive. So then what you'll do is link your account and they'll send you notifications saying your room is ready and that way you can on your phone unlock and lock your room when you go like leave your room and enter your room so that you don't have to go to the front desk and get a key from the hotel and deal with that touch point. So this is only if you have a Bonvoy account though. So make sure you go ahead and get that all set up and then connect your reservation to um, your account. Great, thank you. I think that's just cool technology and people give it a shot. So go ahead and download that app, okay. Let's move on then. So I'm gonna have you take us through each day. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share my screen again for everybody um, to walk through the agenda. And this is actually on our website. You can see up here, connectmeetings.com events. Um, and you can go to whatever, if you, you, there are all of our events that are taking place in Orlando will be there and you can find yours. But let's start here. Tinsley, you wanna start with the first day on Monday? Yeah, so on Monday, um, different from last year, we are really starting at around five o'clock for the majority of the group. So um, we'll have the Reconnect virtual happy hour for the planners to enjoy in their room with a box from Visit Oakland. Um, I believe you'll be making Mai Tais, so that's exciting. Um, but before that, I'll talk on the Connect West appointments. For those of you who are taking those appointments, they'll take place in the Sawgrass and Vinoy. Uh, meeting rooms at the hotel in the North Tower and those start at 2 p.m. go till 5 p.m. and then um, so then we have the reconnect virtual happy hour and then after this Stephanie will be recognizing our 40 under 40 winners and then give you instructions on how to get to the opening reception which is going to take place on the driving range 
and that's sponsored by Visit Tampa Bay. Um, so please bring a fun mask to wear to that. You will have to go through a temperature check, like I said, so make sure you bring your name badge as well. Um, and here we'll have beer, wine, some cocktails, and hard seltzers with some hors d'oeuvres, and then some fun characters that Visit Tampa Bay is bringing with them. So that will be exciting. Really and quick, I thought it was so interesting. This virtual happy hour is actually taking place on the TVs in your room, correct? Yes. So Visit Oakland's gonna drop these cocktails, then we're gonna do a little 40 under 40. So it's all happening in your room, which has never happened before. To right. I've been to. Right. And on Monday as well, I mentioned this earlier, but we will open our information desk at 9.30 a.m. So if you need anything or have any questions, feel free to come visit us down there and we can help you out. And that's great. So there's not one time where everyone's flooding the help desk. You can come right. all day long, see how busy it is and packed and at your comfort level come in. And masquerade is happening outside. So I think being outside um, and everybody being masked is going to really bring down the mitigation level. So we're really excited to try a really safe event outside of this space. That's going to be yeah. Really okay. And then I just did also want to mention that if you um, signed up before September 28th and got us your headshot and everything, you'll receive your registration packet this week in the mail or next week in the mail. Um, it's sponsored by Michigan. So thank you to them. Um, and that should have a mini agenda, a mask from Michigan, a few little flyers, and then your name badge and a lanyard. So make sure that you bring that with you if you do receive it. It should get there before next Friday. Awesome. Okay, then we head into Tuesday morning. Yeah, wow. so we have um, two hosted breakfasts with Great Wolf Lodge and Experience Green Rapids. Those will be happening on um, invite only on Tuesday at 7.45 a.m. So um, emails will be sent out this week about that. And then the trade show opens at 8.30. We'll have coffee and a light snack, but I do recommend that you grab some breakfast on your own if you want a good full-size meal. Um, and then Can I pause you real quick there mm -hmm. for the trade show. Derek and Lauren, you know a little bit about this trade show. What makes this so special? Yeah, absolutely. So really, if you attended Connect Marketplace in 2019, um, we rolled out kind of a larger new scale format for the show. Um, instead of just having kind of your historic regular trade show come by and get a pamphlet, we really wanted to keep it um, kind of energizing and engaging for attendees. So we'll have kind of some fun activations, uh, skateboarders on half pipes. Um, in the past, we've had climbing walls. I know this year we have uh, this plate breaking station where you can write down what makes you angry or what you don't like. And probably for most people, it's coronavirus and you can write it on the plate and you throw it against the wall and it shatters. And so there's all kind of uh, just kind of fun, interesting activations. Um, our business is working hand in hand with Biz Bash, who um, we welcomed into the Connect family uh, last year. And uh, they're kind of powering a lot of the engaging, interesting activations. And then, you know, our staff is also working with our destinations to some, create some fun activations, whether it be uh, food sampling stations or just kind of various um, opportunities for people to come by. Lauren, I'll kick it over to you if you want to add anything there. Yeah, we just, as Derek said, we have some really cool experiential booths happening on the trade show floor that we're so excited about. Um, you know, plate throwing, things like that to kind of let out some aggression after a crazy year. So you write 2020 on it and just... <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So yeah, we're excited. And all of our trade show people will be under the same rules as us. They'll be getting temperature checks. They'll be masked. They'll be following the same rules as attendees, right? Yes, they'll all sign waivers. Anybody that's bringing um, labor to set up their booth, they'll have to sign a waiver. Everybody has to wear a mask. Everybody has to go through a temperature check. Um, there's really no exceptions for anybody, even our staff. Okay, great. I know one question that came up earlier is, will, who will be monitoring masks and will we have people in charge of making sure people regulate so that attendees don't have to regulate for themselves? I mean, um, our staff will be on site, obviously looking to make sure that everybody's wearing a mask and we'll have security on site as well. But my perspective on it is that, you know, if we do our part and wear a mask and follow all the rules, this is how our industry is going to get started again. So if we can't follow the rules, then it's not going to work out and there's just going to be more COVID cases and more issues with meetings. So this is really like a team effort here for everybody to do their part and wear their mask and self-regulate themselves in that sense so that we can really get back to business. Good point, Lee. Thank you for that. Okay, we'll get into appointments now, 9 a.m. 
on Tuesday? Yeah, so um, the association specialty and faith appointments will start at 9 a.m. Um, they are social distance, wider aisles, and the association appointments will be in the crystal ballroom, and the specialty and faith appointments will be in the grand ballroom. And those will be from 9 a.m. to noon. And then for those of you who are taking corporate or um, our guests or non-appointment takers, we have education starting from 9 to 10 a.m. And we have four education theaters on the trade show floor in Cyprus that are sponsored by Visit Oakland. So we recommend you checking those out. They, we have a lot of education that revolves around COVID and how to have a meeting in these times. So it'll be really beneficial. Um, and then those take place again from 1030 to 1130. If you're not interested in taking education, the trade show floor will be open. And as I said, we have great activation. So you're welcome to check that out. And then from noon to two, we have lunch sponsored by Visit Sacramento. Um, it is a boxed lunch, a sandwich, salad, cookie type deal. Um, we are, everything will be prepackaged just so that everybody feels safe about how it was prepared. There are two hours to get your lunch, so don't rush to get there if you're uncomfortable. Um, that way you can spread it out and not feel like you have to stand in a line necessarily. Um, so when you're done eating, go to the trade show floor, catch up on some emails, whatever you want to do. But the lunch will all take place in the pre-function space and then also in the outdoor courtyard back and forth. Um, and then starting at two, we have the corporate and luxury appointments. Those are in the Palms Ballroom. And then we have education again from 2 to 3 and 3.30 to 4.30. Um, and then after that is an open night for you to explore Orlando. I will say on your open night, if you're interested in visiting um, Disney Springs or any of the Disney properties, you do have to make a reservation ahead of time. So keep that in mind that Disney Springs, you can't just walk into a restaurant, um, but it's a great place. So recommend checking it out. Um, and then in addition to that, just so everybody's aware, because we get a lot of questions about this, we do not have discounted tickets to Disney and the hotel does not necessarily either, but they've told me to recommend that you could reach out to their concierge if you have any questions about it. Great. So that moves us into Wednesday and we start again at 8.30 a.m. Yeah, so Wednesday is pretty much an identical schedule to the day before. Association, specialty, and faith appointments are in the morning corporate and luxury appointments in the afternoon. And the only difference I would say about Wednesday is that we have a closing cocktails reception sponsored by Visit Tucson in the Western La Paloma. So we'll have margaritas there and some music and that will be right outside of the education and appointments in the pre-function space slash the courtyard. So um, it'll be great to stay and just have a final little reception with everybody um, but that's really the only difference to Wednesday. So it's pretty similar. Usually in the past, we've flip-flopped appointments, corporate in the morning, association in the afternoon, but we're just keeping it the same. So it's easy for everybody to remember. Everybody knows where they're going and there's not too much confusion and we don't have to create a huge line at the info desk. And they're in the exact same rooms and all of that. Yes. Okay. And then in the F&B and closing cocktails and for the open night, I know we're having a lot of self-serve like buckets and things. So you don't have to wait in line. Isn't that right? Right. So um, our partners at court have helped us put together some cool bars and have gotten us these huge um, planter type buckets. So we'll have um, a section for the white claws. So like a raspberry, a mango and a black cherry. And then um, we'll have a section for beers and visit Tampa Bay um, is helping us with getting Cigar City beer. So we'll be featuring that at one of the bars. And then we'll have a cocktail bar that's shaped in a clover type situation. So one clover leaf, if you call it that, um, will be for margaritas. And then one would be for an old fashioned. And so there will be lines specifically for that drink and they'll be pre-made. So you can just come up and grab it. You don't really have to wait and create a long line. Um, and then we'll have some light hors d'oeuvres. So it'll be a lot of self-serve type stuff. Okay, great. And these are the trade show hours for each day. That's yes. And then um, one question that I'm seeing is about dietary restrictions. So when you register for the event um, in our registration system, we do ask about dietary restrictions. So we have pulled those um, and we will have vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free options for everybody at lunch um, and in the opening and closing receptions, there'll be a light order that goes along with that restriction. 
Um, but if you are having an issue finding anything, please find somebody in a connect shirt and we're happy to help you. Okay, great. Okay, so that walked us through the day. Um, I'm gonna now throw it to Derek for any supplier questions or questions about the portal or the appointments. Um, Lauren, did anyone put anything in the chat box about that or does anyone wanna ask? says, when will we get to pick who we would like to have appointments with? I did see that in the chat box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can go there. <laughs> All right. So the appointment process will open tomorrow. It will be um, very similar to years past where you'll receive a login to our portal. Our portal provider is ISSI. Uh, they do a great job with matchmaking. So you'll be able to go in, see the uh, buyers registered. Buyers will see the suppliers registered to select and prioritize who you want to meet with uh, for the show. So that process will take place over 48 hours and you'll receive uh, your final schedules uh, after that. Okay, great. Sorry, Lauren, I jumped you. Do you have anything you want to add? Oh, nope. Derek covered it well. <laughs> okay. And somebody said how many people will be at the event right now, Derek, you had said north of 1,000. So we are like hovering right at that thousand number. We have uh, registrations trickling in, some registrations going out. And so if I had to guess just a random ballpark, I would say 1,038, but we'll be right around that thousand number. But Which is exciting for our industry. And we know we got to come back to do that. But at the same time, it is on all of us to be safe and to follow the rules. And this is spread out over how many square feet, Tinsley? A thousand people over, do you know? She's like, don't. <laughs> I don't know that off the top of my head. Hundreds of thousands of square feet. So Hundreds of be, thousands. We will be the only group in-house. If you're familiar with the hotel, it is a massive hotel. Um, great outdoor space, great meeting space, uh, phenomenal staff. Uh, we're really excited. And there's places for you to step outside right off the thing. Yes. That's right. If you feel like you want to go out. Okay, so that's great. One more question or one more question I have about planner refunds for Derek, because there's going to be a new process uh, for health and safety. Yeah, absolutely. So this year for planner refunds, they'll actually be um, the all of the refunds will be delivered to the World Center uh, during the event. They'll be uh, sealed in um, envelopes. There'll be checks, actually. So they'll come directly from the bank to us. Um, our staff will handle those refunds uh, with gloves. We'll deliver the refunds at your final uh, kind of your final five to 10 appointments uh, during your closing session on Wednesday. Um, We'll have gloves on, we'll be wearing masks, and we'll be delivering your sealed envelope to you. Uh, if for some reason you did not get your refund, you don't have your refund, you have any issues, uh, please reach out back to our staff and we will circle back with you to put your refund in the mail. But the goal is to kind of keep um, as few people as possible touching the refunds. So uh, we'll go that way for the show. Okay, awesome. Um, any Somebody other supplier asked, questions? Yeah, any supplier questions? I saw, what's the temperature like there? Does anyone know for Orlando? We have that. <laughs> I have been to Orlando in October and it's typically beautiful. So looking forward to that. Okay, and it should be really nice. And we actually sent out a know before you go webinar. I mean, know before you go email blast that has everything in it as well. Um, so look in your spam if you haven't gotten it, but it has the weather on it um, for that. Um, oh, one question. How many appointments can a supplier make? Is there a limit? That is a great question. It used to be 70 or 75. Lauren, do you know the answer to that? I don't, but that sounds about right to me, Derek. Yeah, so it used to be, we kind of said, rate your top 75 or 77 appointments. Um, this year, for all the attendees to know, there will actually be more meeting planners registered than suppliers. So suppliers should have... Um, a great time getting great appointments um, and should be able to fill up their schedules really well. And there's 46 appointments total, just so everybody's aware. Okay. Correct. And I saw a question in the chat box about breaks. We will have built in breaks uh, during the uh, three hour blocks. And somebody was asking that about appointments. Were they supposed to get an email? Um, Cause they haven't gotten that. They should receive that email tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. So Annette, if you saw that, um, you should get it tomorrow. Okay, what about overnight cleaning in the appointment rooms? Is there a full wipe down? Has the hotel agreed to that? Yes, um, so that's one thing to know. Um, usually we let planners leave all of their stuff on their tables, their business cards, and any of their notes. We ask that you pick, it, pick all of your stuff up um, as we'll be changing the linens on the tables. That way none of your stuff gets lost and there isn't an issue there. 
Um, and then we're working with a company to either do um, like a electro shock of the room that would sterilize it or um, fogging. So we haven't locked that down completely, but we will have that in place and that will happen every night. Love that. One question about F&B, I actually think it's interesting because I thought the same thing from Richard. How do you self-serve hors d'oeuvres? So when you say hors d'oeuvres are going to be the event, are they going to have them passed? Are they going to be on tables? They'll be passed hors d'oeuvres. So waiters walking around with them and then you would either, not 100% sure how they're planning on doing it, either handing it to you, a waiter handing it to you with a glove. I'm sure that's probably how they're planning to do it. So multiple people aren't touching, um, but they'll be passed. Okay. And that hotel is so on board. They're going through every safety measure they can. They know how important this is as well. So they'll be following a lot of regulations as well. Um, somebody's asking if their spouse needs to download their bomb boy number. I'm guessing yes, if they want to get into the room. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the answer to that. Somebody else asked that as well. Um, I would assume that you would both need to be on the same bomb boy account on your phone. Um, but you can always call the hotel front desk and they should be able to help you answer that. Okay. Um, Holly is asking if there's a list of clients attending. Derek, I'm guessing that's you. Can she email you for that? Yes, you can email me directly for uh, attendee lists. We have kind of when the portal opens up, you'll have access to everyone. Uh, that'll be tomorrow. But if it's a special request and something we need to address and look at, we can certainly try and help you. Okay. And what is the ratio planner to supplier? I think it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I want to say, give me one second. I'll give you an exact number. All right. Okay. We'll get that and get it to you. Um, I am just reading questions. Lauren, I know we were both doing that. If you see anything I haven't asked. Um, yeah, actually just a quick question. Kinsley, can you touch on what, how we'll be handling wiping down services in between appointments and kind of handling all of that? Yeah. So the tables will have linens on them rather than plastic covering. So um, we'll leave the linen on throughout the day of your appointment. So the three hours that you're taking appointments that day, and then it'll be changed in the night. And then also we'll have the room shocked so that like germs should be killed. Um, so we won't necessarily be walking around wiping the table, obviously, because it's a linen, but you will receive in your registration packet as well, um, a pack of alcohol wipes that are supposed to kill viruses. So you should bring those on site with you if you're concerned about anything that you might be touching at your appointment table. Um, but I also do recommend if you're not comfortable taking any business cards or taking any items, I think it's totally okay to say I'm not taking this um, and text each other the information or get each other's emails and type it into your phone just so that like there are really no concerns for your touch points. Um, but we will be changing the linens instead of wiping down necessarily after each appointment. Awesome. And then to circle back on the question of the ratio, it should be about 1.2 buyers to every one supplier. Excellent. And who are refunds being made out to? Is it the planner that's being made out to? My understanding is the registered planner. Okay. So that was one question from Paul, I think. And then we've gotten a few questions regarding if someone tests positive for COVID while in Florida. Um, what's the process from there? That. Um, so the nice thing about working with in-house physicians who are doing our rapid result COVID testing is that they do have um, nurses on site who will help us to make choose the next step for that attendee specifically. Um, so one will have to notify the hotel and let them know that you are in your room. Um, and then we really are leaving it on the attendee to decide whether they are home um, or if they're going to stay in their hotel room until they test positive again but the in-house physicians nurses will stay in contact with if any with the person if they were to test positive for covid each day so that um they can really get a good gauge on the next steps and the best plan for them Hey, we're getting virtual appointment questions. I'm wondering, Derek, if you know about this in Tinsley, won't they be taking them in between their in-person appointments? You want to explain that? Yes. Yeah, so how it works is there is a virtual component to the show. 
suppliers who may uh, who couldn't make the trip to Orlando have potentially signed up for Connect Virtual, uh, meaning that they will be you know, in their home taking their appointments. And how it will work is, uh, if you're a buyer attendee at your booth, uh, you might have appointment number one be a live person in front of you talking, appointment number two, a live person in front of you talking, but your third appointment on your schedule might be a virtual appointment. And if so, uh, you would have your computer or your phone, or if you need a, a device, please contact the Connect staff and we can help you um, with a device, a rental device potentially, uh, to take your virtual appointment. Um, but how it will work is it will actually automatically kind of pop up on your screen at the appropriate time, your next appointment. So it'll be uh, really user friendly. So that means they need to bring their own laptops if they are taking virtual appointments. Correct. I would say uh, a laptop or a phone or an iPad, iPod, uh, anything that connects to Wi-Fi that has a screen um, will be sufficient. Obviously, kind of in this age of coronavirus, uh, everyone, especially everyone on this webinar, has adapted to Zoom calls and video calls. And so uh, it'll be pretty user-friendly the way the system works. Okay, great. Um, we'll have our uh, planner development team as well as our staff kind of send out a blast to all the buyers who may have virtual appointments to make sure that they uh, know what the next steps are. Ryan has a great question. Do you have to sign up for education sessions in advance or is a first come situation? It is first come first serve um, which is different than what we were planning to do in Las Vegas. So to clear that out of your mind, it's first come first serve, no reservations. Um, and the theaters sit or seat 54 people per theater. Okay. Do they need to download anything else on their phone besides Bonvoy? Um, they do need to do the app, right? The Connie app. Do you want to talk about that? So Connie is actually a chat bot over text. So no need to download anything. You'll just text connect 2020 to 25525. And then you'll be able to interact with Connie and she can answer any questions similar to how an app would. So she can pull up an agenda for you, tell you where a restroom is and give you information on, you know, open night restaurants that are in the vicinity. She can really answer any of your questions for you. And if she can't, then you can find a Connect staff member. But I feel pretty confident that she has all of the answers ready to go. Anything Lauren you're seeing? I'm seeing a few things that I want to ask. Someone asked if there's a golf tournament and there is not a golf tournament this year that is different from last year. But there is a beautiful golf course at the Marriott Orlando World Center. If you're interested in playing, please contact them directly. I've played it before and it is great. Great. And some people are saying, um, this, are all planners taking a mix of live and virtual appointments? I don't believe so. I think if you've signed up to take virtual, then you've been told that, correct? Yes, so I think way. over the course of the next 48 hours, as the appointment process and requests begin, uh, that will kind of unfold and you'll receive kind of a final schedule with uh, how your appointments will be and it'll, it'll state and indicate whether it's a virtual or a live appointment. Okay. Oh, this is great. Other than the website, we'll be sent a list of the agenda with the education sessions listed and who is attending. That was in the app last year. It's definitely in the magazine that's coming to you, but Tinsley, will it be in their registration packets? In the registration packet, we have a little mini agenda that we've included, um, but the show guides will come in their planner bags, which we're working through the process of how to place those right now. Um, so the show guides will have that information and then you can text Connie to see who is at the event attendee wise. Um, getting some questions that we answered. So I'm just responding to them on there. Um, do we know the state of ground transportation mandates in Orlando? Are there any safety protocols in place? I'm pretty sure that I'm not 100% sure on that to be completely honest, but I am pretty sure that Orlando has pretty much opened up everything so that Ubers are available now, lifts are available. I've taken one Uber since COVID started and I just wore my mask and I was completely fine. Um, so that's what I would recommend is to just do what you're most comfortable with. If you have any concerns or are interested in seeing if the hotel has any suggestions, I definitely reach out or I would definitely reach out to them. Okay. And for appointments, will vendors be standing or seated? Seated, correct? Yes, planners are seated and the suppliers stand up and walk around the room to the next booth. Okay. 
I would say about Uber as well, a lot of them would keep their windows open if you ask. They will wear their masks and they've partnered with uh, Clorox. And so they're Cloroxing, so they always have Clorox bleach wipes. Um, and, and that's why we left it up to you because some people will be driving in. Some people may have family picking them up. Some people want to take a, you know, a bus, you know, whatever level of comfort, we wanted that to be up to you. So um, that's just a further on that. Is there an, oh, an app? I thought it was APP. Oh, I've been <laughs> reading these too. <laughs> a lot of people are asking about apps, but I think we've answered that. Yeah, there's not an app. Just text Connie Connect 2020 to 25525. Okay. Is there a resort fee and what does it cover? Derek, do um, so there is a resort fee. I'm actually looking at the contract right now to see if I can find the amount of the resort fee. I believe it's been discounted a little bit, but it doesn't cover uh, too much. It's like water is being placed in your room at night um, and a shuttle to Disney Springs. And I'm looking for it on track, but oh. Optional resort fee, bottled water in your room, a daily scheduled shuttle service to Disney Parks or Disney Springs, um, daily dry cleaning, cleaning credit, a daily bucket of practice balls and clubs at the driving range, unlimited local and domestic long distance calls, 15% discount off of retail rates for green fee rates, and then enhanced Wi-Fi in your room for up to six devices. So that's enhanced Wi-Fi beyond the Wi-Fi that already is in your room. So that would be for something extremely like heavy that you would need to do and we do have wi-fi correct we have a wi-fi sponsor yes walnut creek is our wi-fi sponsor um, and we'll have the information for that in connie and then we also i believe it will be in the know before you go and then we'll have um, little cards on site if you need to come pick one up if you're having trouble great do we know what the daily parking fee is for those not staying at the marriott it's $24 self-parking daily and $35 valet parking daily. Okay, a lot of parking questions. Um, but they don't have to pay the resort fee. That's just if they want to. It's optional, yes. Okay, thanks guys. Um, will the registration packet be sent to the same address as the badge that they sent Lauren? Yes, it all comes together. Michigan is our sponsor for that. Um, so it'll have like a Michigan mask in it, a KN95 mask, the mini agenda, packet of alcohol wipes, a lanyard, a badge, and then also a flyer from PC name tag, our registration badge partners. And for those of you asking if this recording will be available after for any friends that are coming, I'm going to make this available to everyone. Um, it's recording right now. So there are answers and we'll send it out tomorrow in an e-blast. Um, I saw that a couple of times. I think this keeps coming up and I, and I know it's important to address. So is if anyone does test positive, um, are we going to let the rest of the team know and will we do contact tracing? Um, it's a sticky situation because it does violate HIPAA laws to just tell people who exactly tested positive for COVID. We will work our hardest to um, reach out to people that would have come in contact with them, um, especially in appointments but we can't necessarily release a name about somebody who has tested positive on site. Um, but then again, we also, that's why we're asking that everybody wears their mask and follows our restrictions. And if you don't feel good, please do not come. If you wake up one morning and you don't feel good, please don't come downstairs unless you want to wait until about 930 when the main crowd has gone through and then you can come through, get your temperature checked and get a COVID test if you need to, but we just really ask that everyone does their part to um, help us prevent the spread of COVID as the industry can get going again. Okay, what other questions? You guys are putting a lot of in here and I'm seeing that we've answered some, the resort fee we've answered, virtual appointments. Um, anything else we're kind of forgetting team? Derek, anything you're thinking about suppliers that we're not thinking about? Um, not off the top of my head. I did see a question pop up about uh, updating addresses. Uh, most people were reached out to uh, to get an updated address to have uh, their packet sent to them. If for some reason you feel like your address could be incorrect, please reach out to your Connect representative and we will try to update it as soon as possible so we can get your packet in the mail. 
Okay, and someone was saying, is it gonna be hard to hear each other at the ends of tables with masks on? How do we feel about that? Um, I feel like it, there potentially is a challenge for that. We've tried to remove a few things that could affect the acoustics in the room. Um, so we just ask that everyone does their best. If they you really are having an issue, um, maybe swap information so that you can talk after. But it's really important that we sit six feet apart and really help to prevent the spread of COVID at the event. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And um, I just, we ask that everybody does their best to make do with the situation that we're in, considering we're all facing a challenge with putting on an event in this time. And and although we could, go ahead. Derek. Say, although we cannot replicate um, the experience of being in a trade show exhibit hall, we have tested out in the office kind of with masks talking back and forth and, you know, feel pretty confident that we should be uh, successful and able to do it. I think a lot of people are practicing and have been practicing out and about in public wearing masks and communicating. So I think uh, we're all getting a little bit better at it. Yeah. One thing that, um, a question that I saw that sparked something um, that I wanted to address is that it's up to you on whether you want to have your room clean daily or not. And I think the standard is that they won't be cleaning rooms once you've checked in, um, unless there is something that you've requested that you can call down to the hotel for. I do want to let you know though, that we will be putting room drops in the planar rooms. So please don't put your do not disturb on if you come in on the 18th. So that way you can receive your Visit Oakland mixology box and then the room drops from our sponsors that have put together some cool gifts for you. Um, and, and those room drops will also have waters and stuff like that. So a few important things that you'll want to get. So if you come in on the 18th, please don't put your do not disturb on yet. Um, you won't get cleaning necessarily in your room. They're just going to drop something off really quickly in your room. If you are uncomfortable though, and you do want your do not disturb on, that's totally fine. Um, and you can come pick something up down at our info registration desk on the 19th throughout the day. And somebody I think missed that virtual happy hour, Diana, there won't be a link. It's going to be on the TV in your room. Do we know what channel yet or it'll be on the information? Um, I don't know off the top of my head what channel it's going to be on. Um, I believe it's like 57, but in the Visit Oakland box, they'll have a note that says what channel to turn to. And we'll ask that housekeeping has the channels preset in the room so that you don't really have to even touch the remote because that sometimes can be a touch point that people are uncomfortable with in their rooms. Okay, and Ryan is asking about dress attire. Um, business casual throughout the days. Um, people who usually wear just like a shirt and khaki pants or um, we see some women, women wearing dresses, but it's pretty business casual. And then at the opening reception, we're saying snappy casual. So that's like nice jeans and a cute shirt or something like that. Okay. And the opening reception is on a driving range, so don't wear heels. Oh, that's very good. Wedges and flats, ladies. Yes. Um, I'm laughing. Somebody said, can we wear Batman masks? I'm done. <laughs> Steven Schumann. <laughs> um, no, but we, I mean, maybe you could wear your mask and then your Batman mask if you wanted to do that. We're down for anything fun, y'all. We've got to have a good time and remember that our industry is fun. That's why we're going to have some really great surprises at the masquerade. Um, we know this is all very serious and we're getting back to business, but we also want to have a good time while we're there and see friends in a safe and clean manner. So, um, the rest of these questions I'm seeing a lot are about appointments. So I'm going to Anything about virtual appointments, I would have you reach out to Derek um, or Mark Wong if you're a planner and Derek if you're a supplier. Um, we've answered this stuff. And we'll Anything? send those contacts out in the follow-up email so you have them kind of readily there. And I'm seeing, is there a check-in cheat sheet available on the website? Do you mean for the mobile keys? I think that's what he said. We can link to that. Um, I think that's what they, he means. Yeah. Um, in the next email blast, it goes out and making a note. So and the front desk is really knowledgeable about them. I actually wanted more clarification. So I called them this morning and they filled me in on everything. So um, they're really quick to respond if you just want to give them a call. Okay. I'm seeing yes to the Batman mask. Thanks, Linda. We appreciate that. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I think that's it. Like a lot of the questions left are things we can answer individually. 
right. I'm just looking through. Um, people um, are asking, oh yeah, go ahead. I was going to say Mary from Grand Rapids, let us know that the resort fee is $24 if anybody is interested in paying for it. Okay. And people are asking a lot of percentage of virtual versus in person. I'm not sure if we have that answer yet. I don't we'll, think we'll have that answer till Friday. Friday, uh, and then- But there are more in person than virtual. Yes, which is kind of exciting. I think a lot of people want to get back to business and come out. Um, but we'll also have a lot of what happens at the show being released. And we're talking to the Wall Street Journal. We're talking to SISO. We're talking to a lot of eyes are on this event to make see how we're doing it and to hear the good news and the results and best practices from anything that we learn on site. So um, that will happen later. Um, I think that's it. I'm just seeing, I just want to give everyone a chance. Somebody's got a Bane mask they're wearing. I'm feeling like we're going very Batman for the masquerade. I'm excited to see. So I was going to say, Stephanie, just kind of to echo what Tinsley was sharing earlier and what you were just sharing, the eyes of the industry, the eyes of even bigger than the industry, the country, the Wall Street Journal are kind of on this event. This is a really um, great opportunity for all of us to work together to show that meetings can be possible during this time and that we can um, move the industry forward. So uh, like Tinsley, like you said, I think everyone needs to do their part, needs to, to be responsible, um, wear their masks, practice social distancing, uh, hand sanitizer, et cetera. And I, I think just extra big thank you to everyone on this webinar and everyone participating at the show. It's gonna be a really fun time. And I know for our staff, we are just so excited uh, to be on site and, and to be there and to visit with all of you guys. So that's my part. I think uh, I'm excited. Me too. And so I think we'll wrap up now. We've got a few minutes left. I hope we answered a lot of your questions. Of course, planners, you can reach out to Mark Wong at mwong at connectmeetings.com. Lauren, will you put that in the mm -hmm. chat box so they have that? Um, and then Derek Rodriguez here at drodriguez at connectmeetings.com for any suppliers with questions and or anybody that you've been in connect with or contact with that connect we hope you will also share on social media that you are coming at meetings are coming back in america and when you're on site to post things that um you're interested in and that you see and that's why we're stepping out front first and doing the event because we know someone has to and we've really gone through all these teams have have gone through so much to make this event happen with everything that's um been thrown in our way the gauntlet that we've run so i hope you guys will enjoy it and i want to thank our panelists tinsley derek and lauren and especially thank you to natalie from Kalahari resorts and we can't wait to see you in 13 days in orlando thanks guys thank you have a great one awesome everyone thank you and thank you to all of our sponsors and attendees See you soon. Bye.